What's going on, smart people? Today is a very special day because I'm about to register for my first semester of grad school. So right up, right now, I have uh, the screen for New Mexico State University. I'm about to register for my first physics classes as a grad student, technically. Uh, so let's get started. I'm pretty sure I already know what classes I need to take. Let me scooch this little guy up a little bit. I'm pretty sure I already know what classes I need to take, but let's just go ahead and see... Uh, I agree, sure. I agree to anything. You need to review. Okay. So it's making me review a bunch of stuff. Don't judge me. Oh, there's a quiz. Ooh. As an Aggie, you are expected to take appropriate actions if you see someone being treated without respect. Next question. A survivor, survi survivor of sexual assault, domestic violence, dating violence, or stalking has the right to a prompt and equitable resolution. Yes. That's what this, that's what this, that's what this bachelor's of deg degree of physics will teach you. Oops. NMSU does not tolerate violence against members of the NMSU community. I feel like they just have to have these questions in there so that they don't get sued for something. These are pretty common knowledge. I hope these are common knowledge. I hope other people aren't taking this test and being like, What? You have to respect... Oh, this whole time? For additional resources and information, uh, talk to this person. I bet this is true. Nice. The ability to give consent requires that every individual is able to make and communicate an informed decision. Yes. Thank you. Cool. All right, now it is time to find my classes. Do I need a CRN? Select the box in front of the CRN and choose register. Uh, how do I just find all the classes? Hmm. In front of the CRN. C identifies as a closed class. There's got to be like a search option. Am I being stupid? I mean, I did just pass this quiz, so I'm feeling pretty smart. Class search. There was an option. Whoops. Okay. Let's go down to uh, astrology. Physics. Norse. Whatever, let's just section search. So it looks like these are the classes being offered. Let's see, so we got Intermediate Mechanics 1, Intermediate Modern Physics 1. I don't know what that is. I guess that's Quantum, I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure, so I'm pretty sure the classes that I have to take this semester are Math Methods, Classical Mechanics, and Quantum. Uh, oh, 400 level is going to be undergrad. Duh. So we want 500 level. 500 level ma Math Critical Methods. There we go. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 in the morning. That's a little early to start doing math. Classical Mechanics. So what I'm thinking we'll do is uh, take register for these classes, and then we'll see if we can find like a course description of the topics that'll be covered. I think that's the way. That's the way I'm going to do this. Uh, so classical mechanics and quantum mechanics. Cool. I think that's it. So let's add to worksheet, and now we're all registered. So. I guess what I want to do is see if we can find like a course description. Okay. Oh, cool. Popped up right away. Let's take a look at these little these little classes. Let's see what I'm in for. So we're gonna scroll down to the 500 level. I hope I signed up for the right classes. Okay. So the first one, uh, mathematical methods of physics one, 
3 credits, same as 495, additional work required at a more advanced level. Let's look at 495. Applications of mathematics, topics covered from complex variables, special functions, numerical analysis, Fourier series and transforms, Laplace transforms. That actually doesn't sound like that much. I know when I took my math methods course, we went over uh, vector calculus, differential equations, linear algebra, uh, some complex variables. I guess, is there like a math methods 2 that I can take later? Let's, let's do the little control F. Math. Math. What was it called? <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I spelt math wrong. Or math. <laughs> spelt math wrong. Spelt mathematical wrong. Mathematical methods. So there's that one. Okay, so there's only one of them. Okay. So I'm assuming it'll go into more than just that. I hope it goes into like differential equations and maybe PDEs, maybe tensors. Uh, if it's going into if it's going into special functions, I mean most special functions are just solutions to differential equations, anyways. So that's got to be covered. But then next is what? Uh, classical mechanics or quantum mechanics? Both of those? Lagrangian and Hamiltonian formulation of dynamics, advanced treatments of most, cover most topics covered in 451, plus canonical transformations and Hamilton Jacobi theory. Physics 451 is strongly recommended. Let's take a look at that. I mean, so when I took uh, classical mechanics in undergrad, that's essentially what it was. We really started out with like Newton's laws, but you, all those things you neglect in like university physics, you don't neglect. And then our professor was like, by the way, here's a completely different formulation. We're going to talk about Lagrangians. And then towards the very end, we started talking about Hamiltonians. But uh, intermediate mechanics, vector calculus, Lagrangian and Hamiltonian formulations of Newtonian mechanics. Topics include central force, motion, dynamics, rigid body motion, non-inertial reference frames, oscillating systems, relativistic mechanics, that's pretty cool, uh, classical scattering, and fluid mechanics. That's cool. We actually didn't do fluid mechanics at all, really at all, in my, uh, in my undergrad. Um, that's kind of crazy to think about it. I mean, of course, there was, like, continuity equation and stuff that we worked with in both quantum and E&M, but that's not really fluid mechanics per se. I mean, it is, but it, you know what I'm saying. Okay, the last one that we want to look for is quantum mechanics. That's what you actually have to take if you uh, want to work on really, really small cars, if you want to be a quantum mechanic. Made that joke in one of my older videos. Quantum mechanics, one, wave function, indeterminacy. No way! Oh my god, okay, so I was reading that one article what article was it? No, I was taking that one physics quiz online, and uh, it called it Heisenberg's indeterminacy principle instead of Heisenberg's uncertainty, and I had never heard someone call it indeterminacy before. Maybe that's what it's talking about. Or it's just talking about things being probabilistic. I'm an idiot. Just ignore me sometimes. Uh, Schrodinger equation, atomic and nuclear systems, angular momentum, intrinsic spin, Identical particles, scattering theory, uh, mathematical formalism, symmetry and conserved quantities, perturbation theory, Dirac theory, introdu introduction to quantized fields. That is so cool. That's in quantum. That's in one semester of quantum mechanics. What? That's pretty much like what we did in two semesters of quantum. But I'm sure this is in like a more in depth level, except for we didn't quantize fields. We worked with, like, Feynman path integrals at the very end of our class. But, uh, that seems like a lot to cover in one semester. But I think at ODU, at least, you really kind of start at the very back again. I think what you can notice with these grad level classes is that these courses are very iterative, right? You essentially, you take a class, and then you take it again, but a harder version of it, and then you take it again, and so on. So I, I know that at ODU, uh, 
I think when you start doing quantum, you even go back to like the infinite square well again. I think it's more so um, making sure everyone's on the same page as far as no notation goes, maybe, rather than like people having a hard time grasping infinite square well at the graduate level. But that's crazy. I want to see what they have, uh, what their quantum is like in undergrad. Let's see. Where are you? It's got to be higher up than. I miss it. Where are you? Uh. All right. Let's just look for quantum. Quan quantum. Modern physics. Intermediate quantum one. Uh, so this is the role of angular momentum and symmetries with application to many atomic that stuff. Intrinsic spin, matrix representation, observables, time evolution, and motion in one dimension. Oh wait, that's modern physics one. Oh, I guess that is what they call quantum there. And then the next one is Specific topics include rotation and translation in three dimensions, solution of the central potential problem, perturbation theory, physics of identical particles, scattering theory, and interaction between photons and atoms may be repeated. So that sounds a lot more like my undergraduate, how it was split into two sections. That is amazing, though. Uh, that makes me super excited if we're going to learn how to quantize fields in uh, the first semester of grad quantum. It's got to be very lightly touched on, because I know at ODU, you take quantum 1, quantum 2, advanced quantum, and then I think you can take like an intro to quantum field theory. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, let's take a look at this again. What else do they offer at the graduate level? Ooh, computational physics sounds fun. We've got StatMech. That's another thing that's I, I found is pretty uh, pretty universal as far as grad schools go. Is, is so in undergrad when I took StatMech, it was really like two thirds classical thermodynamics and then one third statistical physics. But at the grad level, it seems like it's always just StatMech, which is interesting. Condensed matter, high energy physics, experimental nuclear physics. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. General relativity. Basic foundations and principles of GR. Derivation of the Einstein field equations and their consequences. The linearized theory. Uh, curvature tensor. Derivation of the Schwarzschild solution. That's awesome. Oh my god. So that means then by default, I don't know what, four, what 511 or 561 are, but that means at some point in this curriculum, they've got to give you basic tensor calculus. Or maybe they just make them watch my videos on it, even though we're not even on the third video yet. Even though we're technically not even on the tensor part yet. 511, 561. What is that? 561 is E and M. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, and then 511 is math methods. So that means, uh, I'm assuming in math methods then that we're going to do some tensors. That's good. I had no idea they offered a course in, in GR. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Hopefully, uh, because I know, I know that uh, at the graduate level, if you want to take a physics class, I think you have to argue that it pertains to what your dissertation is going to be about. I'm not sure yet, but that's pretty cool. That's something to look forward to. Quantum field theory quantum field theory too, so path integrals, gauge invariants. Path integrals are not just like the thing that you learn in Calc 3, it's it's way more involved than that. You see like exponentiating Hamiltonians, defining propagators, gauge invariants, relativistic quantum, canonical quantization, relativistic quantum field theory, so I'm assuming that's like Dirac equation. I'm reading this off as if I'm taking this next semester, I just think it's really cool that it's offered, so just forgive me for this, QED, uh, coupling constant, QCD, electroweak theory, asymptotic freedom, deep and elastic scattering. My internship that I'm doing right now is on semi-inclusive deep and elastic scattering. So that's pretty cool. So basically I'm already at the 692 level physics classes. 
kidding. I'm probably gonna look more into this. I might uh I might leave a link to this little catalog in the description that you guys can check out if you want to read more about these classes. But uh that's cool. I'm all signed up for classes now. I just have to I think send my official transcripts to the grad school and then I'll be good to go. So that's exciting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for seeing me go through all these classes and kind of nerd out on the classes I might get to take one day. Um, let me know in the comment section if you go through, if you do go through this list, or if you just listen to the ones that I rambled off about. Which one do you think sounds the coolest? I feel like I'm going to hear a lot of general relativities and a lot of quantum field theories. Go figure. Uh, but let me know in the comment section, and I'll see you guys there.